many people feel very anxious and even scared of maths. And this can affect people in several ways. Firstly, people can panic. They have an emotional response to numbers or even the thought of being presented with numbers or, or doing maths. In extreme cases, it can almost be like a phobic reaction. Secondly, there's a cognitive component. So maths anxiety can really impact the way that people think. They can often have worrisome thoughts. These can be things like, I just can't do maths, or I don't want people to think I'm stupid, or I've never been any good at maths, those kinds of thoughts. Finally, maths anxiety is associated with a range of behaviours, often unhelpful behaviours. This might be most apparent in more pressurised situations, for example, exams, where somebody's body language can even indicate that they are in, in some distress. It can also result in avoidance of maths. If you are anxious of something, it's natural that you would want to avoid it. There are lots of reasons why somebody might feel maths anxious in the first place. And there's a lot of evidence now to suggest that previous negative experiences of maths can really impact how somebody thinks and, and feels about maths. So these might relate to poor school or, or home experiences, for example. So maybe a, a humiliating experience in the classroom or maybe a poor experience of doing homework with parents. It's important to note that if you do feel maths anxious, you're certainly not alone. And it might help to understand why you feel the way that you do, as well as things that you can do to help overcome the fear of maths. Firstly, if you do find yourself feeling anxious when doing maths, for example, doing personal finances or, or helping with homework, do what you can to feel physically and mentally relaxed. This can reduce physical tension and help to keep your mind focused. Try and find a suitable time to do maths rather than just trying to fit it in around everything else when there are perhaps too many distractions. Calming music might help along with diaphragmatic breathing. So that means breathing properly using your diaphragm. And there are lots of videos available online to show you how to do this. Secondly, try to change the way that you think about maths. So research has consistently shown a link between maths anxiety and certain attitudes or self-beliefs about maths. So for instance, it might be that you think of maths only as an academic subject with little relevance to real life. In which case, it would be useful to think of the applications of maths. There are lots of courses now on functional skills and particularly um, in respect to maths that teach you effective mathematical problem solving skills and transferable skills rather than simply relying on rote memory. It might also be the case that you have negative um, beliefs about your own uh, maths ability or that you have a, a fixed mindset where you tell yourself that you're unable to improve your maths skills. A few months ago, National Numeracy published a report that showed a growth mindset was the strongest predictor of someone's improvement when they took the National Numeracy Challenge. So overcoming that initial barrier of thinking that you can't improve might be really important. Thirdly, it's very common for people to compare themselves against others. It's important to remember that maths is actually quite a broad subject and people have different strengths and weaknesses in all areas of maths. So try and avoid comparing yourself to how everyone else is doing. This is particularly the case when it comes to how quickly you do maths. Our research has shown that maths anxious people tend to have um, a lot of pressure placed on themselves where they think about how quickly they are doing maths, even when there's no explicit time pressure or, or time limit. So yes, it's really good to be quick at maths, in certain situations, but I would just say, bear in mind, are you placing time pressure upon yourself unnecessarily? And also remember that people will have different challenges. Try to focus on your own challenges and be proud of even small steps in your attempts to overcome maths anxiety and build your numeracy skills. 
I want to talk about cognitive reappraisal. Our thought processes are often automatic when we're faced with something that we're afraid of. And this is also the case when it comes to our physiological responses. It's common for a mad anxious person to feel hot or sweaty or, or to almost feel their, their heart racing when faced with a math problem. However, research has shown that if we change the way that we think about those responses, our math performance and our math anxiety can improve. Even the best mathematicians can struggle with maths. So the key is to think of that kind of struggle as normal when we're faced with something that we initially find tricky. And remember that making errors is part of the learning process. It helps us become mathematically resilient. Finally, avoidance of maths means that adults um, have often forgotten much of the maths they learned at school, or they might even feel that the maths anxiety hindered their ability to learn maths effectively in the first place. It's never too late to develop your numeracy skills. And once you've done this, you're likely to feel more confident and less maths anxious. Over a quarter of a million people have already taken the National Numeracy Challenge. Why not go and try this out for yourself? We are all numbers people, and I'm a numbers person. <laughs>